we are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers to investors welcome to the channel to all subscribers welcome back i'll ask for returns for the smash that like button tell me you watch this video helps out the youtube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort i put into making these videos so here we are with bbig stock Vinco ventures inc and the stock continues to fight higher now it was not the only stock pushing up higher the overall market and the spy were pushing up higher today and our spy bot since 9 a.m sent us out a bull indicator and from that moment forward call options were up two to three x within an hour guys this is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now gain access to this resource as well and join the other members maximizing on opportunities with this edge the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and getting connected over with the spy bot and qqq bot so bbig within the volatility is slightly trying to hold itself up higher as it's currently pulling back but we're going to talk about key levels here based off the chart and 42 vision going forward into tomorrow but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity i mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together and we strive for opportunities like these every single day so these are the three stocks i mentioned this morning all of them gave three to five percent five to ten percent but one of them turned out to be a home run and this is how it performed and this one was dpro we caught this one in the pre-market had a small jump of five to ten percent within the pre-market hours pulled back consolidated and towards the bell shifted into strength on 42 vision got that bull indicator as an extra layer of confirmation and within minutes hit a highest point of 30 percent plus guys if you guys want to know about these stocks every single morning early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us we strive for opportunities like these every single day and let's jump into these charts so here we are with bbig stock vinco ventures inc and as i stated earlier in the video it's slightly pushing higher and consolidating within these levels right so we're going to talk about some key levels here within the chart i'm going to pull up ultimate 42 vision the bull bear indicators which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators to receive the clarity you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down there's always an opportunity that can be made so here we are with bbig stock currently under a bull indicator as the last point of indication here based off the bull and bear indicators popping up now after it popped up things have quickly pulled back down when things start getting this volatile here like you could see the bull and bear indicators popping up that fast like it's done here that's when you're starting to see a lot of volatility and there could be an eventual point of weakness right when things are moving too quickly too fast and back and forth within the volatility and this is actually a pretty quick one popping up but this could also signify right within the charts that even though it's slightly pulling back now if there's still strength here based off support levels it could bounce back up and that could be the setup for the next bull run and this bull indicator held true but if it gets canceled out quickly by another bear indicator as this pulls downwards and towards support levels this will actually no longer dominate the chart and the bear indicator will take over but this type of movement happening very fast is when things start to get very tough for the bulls because the bears are putting pressure and the shorts are not allowing it to do the continuation as we see it now it could be a temporary slight pullback and not a setback if not like i always say any pullback if it bounces off support it could be a setup for the next bull run and that's why we're gonna zoom out and look at this from the four hour and the one day as well but this type of volatility is something to be aware of because it's rejected twice up here 
at these levels. So super important to realize where it's rejected, where it's having trouble going higher, and what the supports are. And that's what we're going to talk about here, the resistance and support levels in just a moment. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below, how you feel about this one right now in this consolidation. Do you think it's going to break out? And how far out do you think it can break out from these levels? I look forward to seeing your comments down below. And if you hold any BBIG stock, I look forward to seeing your comments down below as well. So let's go ahead and look at the four hour here to look at this from a different picture, right? So the first thing is this has done a complete shift, right? From 42 vision. This is the dip area, white with red borders, and then the shift into red with green, dark green. Got that bore indicator as an extra layer of confirmation at 218. And from there on out, it went up with full strength here to the point that it's hit a high here of 328. Now, this is the level where things start to get either very weak if it's going to reverse back down or strength continues. The last time it did this, it started off at dark green, got that bore indicator, shifted into bright green. And there was one moment where things slightly paused when it moved from $2 all the way up to $3 and some change. And then it took off and did the next leg up. Could that be what's happening here? Well, we're going to have to see because of the fact that it's consolidating right now. And these bars need to actually go ahead, right? On the 30 minute, continue pushing up and on the four hour be larger than the previous one, right? Ignore my drawings. I always say that I am terrible at drawing. Excuse my drawing. But this is what we want. We want these bars to follow back to back like they did there and also back to back how they've done here. Now they started to get small here, but it's slightly shifting back up from this small one to the next one. And we want to see that continuation of those wicks to the upside and the next one larger than the next one and continuation of bright green okay no shifts into dark green with red borders or bright green with red borders signifying a possible pullback and eventually a bear indicator if one pops up which will then negate this bull indicator right now that is not the case that is not what we're seeing we still see some strength here this is something to watch very carefully and this bull indicator is still dominating the chart now on the one day you could see that we're still nowhere near those bright green bars right we're at dark green bars and we got a bull indicator but this is the first time that we see a bar smaller than the previous one and they're literally sitting next to each other the next one after this needs to come up and be larger than the previous one, the wick on top, and the continuation to the upside, guys. If not, this could end up sitting sideways, and even though this bull indicator popped up, there could be some volatility within this sideways action, because the last time it did that, you could see it right here. Now, it was under a bear indicator, so nothing popped up, but... The next bar was smaller than the previous one, and then it quickly shifted to dark green with red borders, but that was the setup for the next bull run, and it took off again. So this could still be with strength, even if it pulls back. Like I always say, it is not a setback, if not a setup for the next bull run, if these bull indicators stay, no bear indicators, and also on the one day, things stay strong and no bear indicator pops up either. And things don't fall back too fast okay super important to realize that now the way this is moving is much slower than it did in january so that is something to keep in mind we'll have to see if it squeezes further up but it's in the process it's been pretty strong from way down here at 190s all the way up to 320s and it's been consolidating here so the first thing is support, which has been a key level yesterday and into today, and that is 283. If that gets broken through, this could go into further weakness. And then the next point of reference would be down here at 250. Something to keep in mind to the downside. Now, to the upside, yesterday's highest key, which is 328, 
but today's high was 323. We want to see this break above 330 all in all, right? Get above 323, 328, get above 330, and then start working its way up towards 335, and then back up towards the 390s and even the midway point here of the 360s, which we've talked about in previous videos. And then we can start talking about $4. I think $4 is key, but there is a reason why the stock is possibly having a lot of trouble at these levels staying up. Apart from the shorts, it has to probably do with a lot of selling pressure of those that are either breaking even, making a quick profit that got in on this dip, or some option traders. Probably. We'll have to see how it plays out because the shorts are trying to put pressure and if the bulls actually let loose or give up on this pressure to the upside and this momentum, it could actually fade pretty quickly. But on the 4-hour and the 1-day, we still see strength. And here on the 30-minute, even though things may pull back, it is holding above key support levels. As always, guys, if you want to receive that edge and resources that every single investor and member is using within the 42 Vision community, check out the link down below in the description to the 42 Vision indicator to receive the clarity you deserve, have that edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. We look forward to having you join us and let's make some money.